You're from where exactly? Where were you born? From where in the world? Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm from, oh, I'm from a magical place. I'm, I'm from, <laughs> I, I was born in a place called Bury St. Edmunds, which is uh, the birthplace of the Magna Carta. It's where uh, King John uh, decided to um, uh, ratify with the barons the Magna Carta and then go to Runnymede and have it signed. Then it's a very historical town and it's very beautiful and very old and very medieval. And growing up there, I hated it and because it, <laughs> it was like heaven's waiting room. And now I go back there and I'm like, well, this is lovely. Right. Okay. I, I would love to be here. Peaceful. Huh? Yeah, it's great. I can get coffee and tea anytime I want and a haircut. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> Point. Point. Okay. Mm -hmm. So my question is, why would a person that is raised very, very far in a far, far, far away land. <laughs> Literally. Like a fairy tale. Are we talking about Shrek here? Or like, okay. All right, so I'm, I, am, I am the real estate Shrek. Right? Should probably lose a few pounds. But, um, um, yeah. in, invest into um, arguably one of the worst areas in the state. Why do you call it one of the worst areas in the Arguably. state? Arguably. Yeah, right. Quote, unquote. So, well, so okay, so, so unquote. What are more dangerous? Dangerous. Unquote, so. I mean, if How you look that? at, like, you know, reports, I mean, his, historically, I think things are getting better. I think that potentially. Uh, when, we look at, when we look at Michigan, the way that I looked at this was, firstly, I was trying to help somebody out. Um, and that, to me, the, 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 the $14,025 that we spent on the property helped somebody out mm -hmm. and um I, I i firmly believe that at the time it was the right thing to do because the lease length and the payment history meant that i was going to get my money back and it was just a decent thing to do um secondly i think that looking at the area and the increases in prices around it and the investment that's been made into some of these areas means that speculatively from a long-term gain, it might have an upside. I'm not putting my whole portfolio in there, <clears throat> but I'm happy to hold a couple of things in there that might have a really, really good upside as things develop in the future. Um, it's entirely, entirely speculative. It is the ultimate punt. Mm. But even more than that, Underpinned. it still fit in your buy box. It did fit in my buy box. Yeah. So, because that, that's something that used to affect me and right. coming from Pontiac. I'd be like, oh, I'm not uh, investing on that side of town. I'm, I, you know, I don't invest right. over there. Then I had a guy that was from Georgia. He was buying up everything in Pontiac. He right. was like, it's Pontiac. Pontiac is Pontiac. Like, which, there's right. no difference in town. Same thing we do in Detroit. Uh, I'm on the east side. I'm yeah. on the west side. What? Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter where you're at. The whole point of the... Your formula or your buy box is to that you can take it wherever you're yep. wherever it doesn't matter. Right. P uh, everybody needs housing, right? Well, so yeah. the, the the interesting thing about that is that we, you know, if if you're looking at about rentals and, and what you want to do, and I'll, you know, I only want to have like a two bedroom, two bathroom condo overlooking the lake in Chicago. <laughs> I've got one of those. It's <laughs> terrible. Um, but if you're, if you're looking at it, we're, we're about to have Are you to Airbnb it. in it? Uh, no, because I can't because it's in condo building. Yeah. And I'm also about to get assessed for the special nice. assessment on the parking deck. So it's a disaster. <laughs> you get in trouble. Yeah. No, it's... Do it. it. Nah, 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 nah. Let's get look at it in later, Justin. Nah, I'm wink, so, wink, I'm, wink. I'm, I'm also sort of on the board of the condo, but that's... Uh, uh, sure. anyway, but, so, the... the, 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 the me. I'll you know, let it. <laughs> since since finding this property in 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 this magical place called Flint that I never knew existed until I saw the news about the water, um, we've also recently started looking at multi units there, and 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 last week we closed on a multi unit there as well, because it fit the buy box. That's property number two. Property number two. Okay. Right. Because because it fit the buy box, um, because we can do everything that I want to do with it with a slight little wrinkle mm. so the there's a little you know how boxes have like the flaps on the mm -hmm. top <laughs> yeah <laughs> so my buy box flap is just a little squishy little bit like that right oh, now okay but there is a bit of a speculative piece on it because i don't 100 percent know the arv on mm -hmm. this property mm -hmm. so i'm sort of guessing off but, the rents uh off the off the Projected retail rents yeah, off the yeah. retail rents in the area based right. on the rents in the units. Yeah. So we closed on a six unit property. Mm, okay. Uh, purpose built six unit. Um, and two of the units are renovated and four are not. 
So as those tenants move out, we're going to renovate the units and kind of we're going to burr it over time. 